Zippy Gourmet goes to Italy. Ciao Bella. Arriving in Italy, Yama. La Spezia on the Tuscan coast. Porto Veneri is a wonderful, charming village on the Mediterranean, south of Cinque Terre and Genoa, and north of Livorno. It is in the region of Liguria and in the province of La Spizza. Like much of Europe, Porto Veneri has a fascinating history going back to pagan times. The village site used to be a temple. It was a maritime center even then and has been involved in many conflicts through the ages. What was once called Portus Veneris is situated in the most western part of the Gulf of Spiza and is considered one of the most suggestive villages of the Spiza's coastline. Dude, its origins date back to ancient times. The first inhabitants were the Liguri, then the Romans, and during late medieval times, by the monks. Thanks to its fortunate and strategic position in the bay, the Genoese made Puerto Veneri a land fortress. Man, nowadays Porto Veneri is a really unique site that creates an incomparable corner between the sky and the sea. Now we're en route to Palmaria Island. Palmaria Island is a triangle-shaped island that lies very close to the Ligurian coast. The restaurant Locanda Lorena has its own private water taxi to get us there. The island was actually inhabited during the prehistoric age. We've arrived on Palmari Island. This is the restaurant Locanda Lorena on Palmari Island, and we're about to go meet Giuseppe, who is the head chef. What a place. Look at this place, it's amazing. This is unbelievable, Giuseppe. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. What a place. Wow. This is so cool. Eh, sono Giuseppe, nato nelle Cinque Terre. Son, mi sono trasferito a Porto Venere nel 1970. Sono 34 anni che vivo a Porto Venere. Da 8 anni mi sono trasferito alla Palmare, in Locanda Lorena, e ho messo in piedi questo locale. Eh, cosa ho fatto? Ho messo in piedi, sto mettendo in piedi un agroturismo stupendo con otto camere, sette ce le ho già, le sto mettendo in piedi adesso. Un altro angolino della Palmaria stupendo. Oggi ho otto camere, qua sulla Locanda Lorena, dove vengono prenotate da mesi e mesi di anticipo. Vengono prenotate da mesi e mesi d'anticipo. Eh, cosa posso dire? Per avere una camera sì, bisogna prenotarla almeno un mese o due prima. Per cenare 
si va da 20, 20 giorni, un mese, lo stesso, per avere un tavolino per cenare, sono, ripeto, mi fanno vivere tranquillo i clienti. Nella mia prima di arrivare a Porto Venere ho fatto dieci anni di navigazione sui Costa, sull'Eugenio, sull'Anna Costa, facevo il cuoco a bordo a quelle navi lì e adesso curo i turisti che arrivano alla Palmaria eh, dandoci da mangiare nel migliore dei modi. The fresh seafood makes an awe-inspiring spread. Ho una clientela stupenda, diciamo a livello internazionale, che vengono da tutto il mondo, giapponesi, americani, tedeschi, italiani. Sono soddisfatto di quello che ho fatto e di quello che sto facendo. Io vengo da una famiglia di contadini delle Cinque Terre, non da, da, da uomini della cucina, però io a 14 anni mi sono imbarcato su una nave e sono sbarcato a 25. Ero, quando sono sbarcato ero cuoco e cambusiere, mia pre, la mia passione è sempre stata la cucina. E poi nel 65 ho aperto il primo ristorante a Vernassa, perché ho aperto due ristoranti a Vernassa nelle Cinque Terre. Poi sono venuto a Porto Venere, ho aperto Iseo, ho comprato Iseo a Porto Venere che tuttora ci sono i miei figli e poi mi sono trasferito qua, però ho 66 anni, continuo a cucinare come se ne avessi 20, anzi sono stimolato ancora di più di quando avevo 20 anni. Eh sì, americani ho avuti parecchi, da Roger Stura a, a quella cantante lì di Kelly Minogue, come si chiama. So many famous people have come to eat here, it's almost like a little slice of Hollywood. Giuseppe has a staff of chefs and assistant chefs who bring it all to life. Here they're preparing seafood dumplings for later. Wow, the setting here is absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's very romantic, just right here on the water. Wow. Well, we're in the most beautiful setting in the world, one of the most friendly towns and one of the most perfect settings to enjoy some of the best seafood in the world. So I'd like to join with everybody in clinking the glass and enjoying this food because we are lucky people. <laughs> All right. Cheers. It's a beautiful place and beautiful food. Cheers. 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 Spectacular. Possibly the most spectacular feature of the Locanda Lorena restaurant is this outdoor barbecue grill. The barbecue is fired with local hardwood and it's placed in back of the seafood which actually cooks in a very even fashion. It's great. Once each seafood item is cooked to perfection, it's placed on a large platter. As the seafood is placed on the platter, a second chef arranges the garnish. Wow. 
Wow, look at that. The tranquility of the restaurant location is just breathtaking. We start our meal with a fresh seafood bisque. To start off the antipasta, we have the fish dumplings that you saw being made before. And then some delicious calamari. And a calzone of sorts. Mmm, a pepper roasted whitefish. Also, mussels marinara? Too much! Oh my lord, a stuffed lobster. And then marinated salmon with pignolis and olives. Oh man, this antipasta just does not stop. Manja. contrast of the sky and the mountains, the color is almost a cobalt blue. Beautiful sea. Uh-oh, now comes pasta? Prego, bavetes campias parishi. Prego, bavetes campias parishi. Sort of a green, almost like a pesto. Of course, after the antipasta comes pasta. And right now we have some incredible just incredible looking puree asparagus, green sauce, with a little longestinos. As night falls, it must be time for secondi. In Italian, that means more food. Allora, scampi. Whoa. After the pasta comes secondi. Whoa, my God. Look at this fresh seafood. Grilled to perfection, it does not get any fresher than this. Just when you were starting to think of dessert, spumoni maybe? Forget about it. We're talking segundi. This is just the tip of the iceberg. A platter like this is going to serve a table of about 10 people. Spectacular seafood. What an array.
the most difficult part of a visit to restaurant La Conda Lorena is your departure. You've become family, you feel like you belong, but the water taxi's there and it's time to leave. Very, very sad departure. And then our short water taxi ride back to Porta Venera at night. Day or night, this place has so much character. So ciao Bella! Coming up on the continuing Hippie Gourmet Euro Tour, we go to Italy. Visit us on the web at hippiegourmet.com. Hippie Gourmet, my favorite TV show. <laughs> 